Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to make wedding album in Canva. The first thing you want to do after creating your Canva account, you're going to tap on the search bar and I want you to type in wedding album. So let's do that real quick. And you can select wedding album right here. Once you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page and from here you'll see numerous templates that you can choose from. Whether you'd like to create a photo album or an animated album better yet, you can see it right there. If it is a case that you want to create a photo album, you can see it here. So you can decide on the type of template that you would like to use. As you can see that we are provided with numerous templates that we can choose from. So let's say for example, we'd like to create an animated wedding album so we'll be using this one and we'll be including photos and also videos to get started you're going to tap on customize this template after selecting customize this template you'll be redirected to this page and by the way you can see that this is a mobile video if it is a case that you don't want to use a mobile video all you'll need to do is go back into templates then from there you could close this section and you could scroll down and you can select any one of these templates otherwise as you can see there are numerous options you can choose from so let's say for example we didn't want to create a mobile video but we wanted to create a video we'll simply tap on back to home then from there you're going to tap on videos below the search bar after doing that, you can scroll down and we're going to be tapping on create video for 1920 by 1080 px. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to a new page, a blank canvas. Once on this blank canvas, all you'll need to do now, you could go over to the left hand menu option. And from there, you could type in once more wedding album. So you'll see some templates that you can use. So we'll type in wedding album and you can see it here. After typing in wedding album, let's say for example this one, you could simply tap on it. Then from there you can see the different pages that are involved and we'll tap on apply all pages. So the concept is the same for both sizes of video. Whether you like to use a regular video or the mobile video, the option is completely up to you. After doing this, you can now edit the videos or the pictures better yet. So all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on uploads. Then you can tap on upload files and from there you can add your photos and then you can drag and place them. For this example, I'll be using some copyright free images. So I'll simply tap on elements. Then from there, I'll select couple, tap on photos. Then I'm just going to be adding some random photos. For example, let's see, I won't be using that one as it has the watermark. I want to use one without watermark. For example, this one, you can simply drag and replace it. And it is the same thing with the names. You can select the names and from there, you can replace them with your name or so on by simply selecting the text. You can change the date by tapping on the date right there. After you have done that, you can go onto page two and then you can change each photo just like what I showed you earlier and you can continue doing that. And now let's say, for example, you would like to add videos also. All you'll need to do is simply tap on the page. So let's say, for example, this page would like to add a video. All you need to do, you can simply tap on each section. And from there, you could select videos so you could upload a video. Then you could simply drag and place the video in the same box. So you'll simply drag and place the video as you can see there. Now, after dragging and place the video, you can see that it automatically plays and you can replace each one of these with a video if you want, or you can replace each. You can replace the particular ones that you would like to add video to. It is quite easy to edit. And to add transition to your photo album, in between pages, you're going to tap right where you see add transition. Then from there, you can see the different transition styles that you can use. 
there are numerous options you can choose from so what i normally do is add a different transition style in between each page so you can see right there let's say for example i were to use that one then i'll tap right here and i'm going to be adding a different transition style and you can do that in between each page after doing that you can scroll down and right where you see the blue line at the bottom of the page on the timeline that is basically the audio track now if the audio track that has been added after selecting the template is not of your liking you can remove it by tapping on the three dots then from there you could tap on delete track once the track has been deleted you're going to carry the cursor to the front part of the video then you are going to go over to the left hand menu option tap on uploads then you can select upload files and you can add your own audio track if you don't have an audio track in mind you can tap on elements from the top left hand corner then from there you can tap on the search bar and you can type in let's say for example wedding so we could type in wedding right here then from the menu option below the search bar you'll tap on audio and these are simply some copyright free audio that you can add to your video as you can see right here keep in mind that the ones that have a crown you would have to be a paid subscriber on canva to use that particular audio track but there are numerous audio tracks that you can use for completely free and you'll simply tap on the one that you want to use and it will automatically sync with your video as you can see right there if it is a case that you would like to add an extra page you could tap on the plus to add an extra page and then from there you can add whatever edits or video or photo that you want if you would like to add a photo collage all you'll need to do you'll select the page then you'll go over to the left hand menu option once more select elements then from there you're going to select grid so you're going to type in grid after typing in grid you'll select see all and then from here you can see numerous grids that you can choose from so depending on the amount of photos or videos that you would like to add you can see the various options right here so let's say for example sake we would like to add three photos or four photos better yet to a page you can simply drag and place the grid after you have done that you are going to tap on uploads once more then you can add the photos so let me add some photos right here i'll simply go back into elements and once again i'm going to type in couple so let's do that real quick and i'm just going to be adding some of these copyright free photos so you can see here so let me scroll down i'll add this one i can add this one this and that's it you'll simply drag and place them in each grid as you can see right there and it is the same concept if you wanted to do it with videos once you're finished you're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner then scroll down a bit and from here you can tap on download then tap on download once more and you will now have your digital photo album hope you found this video helpful and informative if there's anything you'd like me to go over or more in depth please let me know in the comment section and i'll get back to you as soon as possible